Hey everyone, it's Ginny again, and I'm here for another session of preschool fun. So today we're going to be doing a really fun experiment that talks about sinking and floating. So buoyancy, uh, density, all of those good things kind of wrapped up into a fun little activity. So the first thing that you guys need to do is go on a scavenger hunt around the house and find some objects that you want to test out and see if they will sink or float. You can also go out into nature and find uh, other objects there too. So sticks, pebbles, leaves, all sorts of things. I have a little glass bead, which I'm calling a pebble today, a craft stick, and aluminum foil. So we're gonna test these objects to see if they sink or they float. So part of the reason I love this project is that we can talk about the scientific method. So we're gonna do predictions and observations while we're um, doing this activity. So it really helps kind of build that kind of inquiry-based learning or um, learning through play with your child. Um, and it's a lot of fun in the, in the meantime. <laughs> so, I have my three different items listed here on my chart. It's a very simple chart, just the item, my prediction, and the outcome. So I have craft stick, pebble, and aluminum foil. Let's start with the craft stick. What do we think will happen when we put this craft stick in the water? Will it sink to the bottom or will it float on the top? And so this is something that you'll wanna ask your child before you put each item into your water. And the water can be in a little bowl like this container, or you can do it outside if it's warm enough that day, or inside in the bathtub. <laughs> so for my craft stick, I'm gonna make the prediction that, hmm, it floats. So I'm just gonna put a smiley face next to it to say that it floats. Um, but you guys can write out whatever you'd like. So let's drop it in. You guys ready? Can you see it there? There it is, it's floating on the top. So what was our outcome? We are right. So I'm gonna put yay. <laughs> All right, next we have our pebble. What do you think? Will the pebble sink or will it float? Hmm. I'm gonna guess that it sinks. I'm gonna put a frowny face there for you. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, <laughs> you could hear that basically. Just knock on the bottom, there it is. All the way at the bottom. So our outcome was correct. We were right okay aluminum foil what do you think will happen when i put this piece of foil in do you think it'll float or will it sink i think it will float so let's test it out you guys ready oh there it goes it's kind of doing a mixture, isn't it? It's kind of suspended there um, in the middle. Maybe it'll slowly sink. So what do we put for our outcome on that? Hmm. I'm going to put undecided. Which means we might want to test even further. So I have another piece of foil here, and if we change the look of it, do you think that will matter? Let's try. Let's crumple it up and see what happens when we put it in. Okay. And just so we can see perfectly, I'm going to take this other piece of foil out. Okay. So we have our crumpled piece of foil. Let's try it. Hmm, that one is floating all the way. 
that's very interesting, isn't it? When it's flat, it kind of went into the middle of the water and almost sank. But when it's crumpled up, it floats on top, no problem. So that's really interesting, isn't it? It might be because the air pockets in the crumpled up foil. It could be because we changed the density or the buoyancy of it. Who knows? We'll have to look that up and see why. <laughs> All right. Well, I think you guys got the idea on how to get started. And I hope you have a lot of fun determining what around your house can sink and what can float. Until next time, see ya.